Damn. Things rude, man. <laughs> Awesome guitar. Wow. <coughs> it's a rude, awesome. rude guitar. Yeah, this is pretty badass here, too. Woo! That guitar's awesome. Let me see that thing. <laughs> that thing's so sick. Oh, man. Uh, I was 13. My mom had actually done some playing, oddly enough. Um, she, did, she was real good at the kind of flamenco y kind of stuff. She studied it in college. And she had a piece of shit bought in Mexico, a $20 guitar with a, a neck like that and nylon strings, and it was awful. I still have it. Um, she told me, she, <laughs> she goes, get good on that and I'll go buy you an electric. She knew I wanted to you know, turn up. So I think it took about two months. You know, sat her down and showed her a couple of things I learned and went and got the, the first real guitar, which wasn't much better, but it was something, you know. When I first started playing, you know, like I said, a lot of a lot of what I did was just listening to records, and I didn't want to take. I would ask for pointers from people that I obviously looked up to that were available, but I didn't want to take too much. Um, I didn't want to spend too much time having them tell me stuff. It was more like an economic way of of them telling me stuff and and letting me come to them because I wanted to learn it all on my own, right? So. But when I first learned, obviously you learn a 12 bar, you know, from my, my dad, obviously, coming from a bit of a blues background, you know, you te teach a 12 bar blues. And then also the way to look at it was that there's boxes on the neck, right? So you have your, you know, like an A, you have, you have your box here, you know, your notes in between depending on what chords are in the song which is you know that but also then you move that same shape down and then it becomes a major you know and then you have to put the notes in between that makes sense with that but anyway so I just learned kind of moving boxes around the neck relative to what I was hearing and understanding why that note sounds wrong and that's not, you know what I mean? Once you know, oh, that doesn't sound right because it's, that note is clashing with that note, you know? So you kind of teach yourself that stuff and you kind of get an understanding of, of what it all means, you know? 
Um, pretty similar thing. I was pretty intimidated at first too. It mm -hmm. was it was a bitch, man. Um, but you know, the more time you spend on it, and the more you listen to records and kind of find your way, and you know, at first it was like a lot of punk and alternative music, but um, the blues was really where it kind of blew the guitar open for me. Um, <clears throat> there was a cat by the name of Floyd Miles that introduced my dad to the blues, and he used to come to the house a lot. And one day he was like, "Man, come downstairs. I'm gonna teach you how to play the, the blues," you know. And it was it was really cool to kind of see how, how the old school feels and the way of looking at those boxes like really fit together when I when I would jam with Floyd, you know. So if he was doing something like in an A, like it's just any kind of A riff. A strummy thing to go away from the blues box and go to, so just give me kind of an airy open A thing. You know, more of a kind of country licks, you know, and, and so when I kind of got to that place where I, I knew kind of where, how I wanted to play guitar over something that was kind of more Americana country versus something more blues based or rock based, and that's that's what it did for me, and I, I, I've only been playing lead guitar since I was 34, 33, or whatever. You know, I wasn't, I didn't come out of the gate like a lead guitar player. Let's cancel the show tomorrow. <laughs> we should just stay here all day tomorrow. God, it's so righteous, man. Guitarists, fuck. These guitarists. Are both, both of these two are. Yeah, we'll are take. Beast. You can just wrap these up. That's yeah. Fine. yeah.